Let's go back to what's been happening in the oil patch. Today's historic drop in the oil price has investors wondering what could be the next shoes to drop. And for more on what that means for the industry, I'm joined by Chris White. He's the chairman and CEO of Liberty Oil Field Services. Uh, Chris, thank you for coming on TV today uh, to talk about what's happening. Are there any misconceptions you think about how bad this is going to, how bad this looks for the energy industry right now? Well, Kelly, I think people sometimes confuse the short term with the medium or longer term. Our industry, because of efficiency gains, has been contracting in size and reducing investment to better balance supply and demand. This adds fuel to that fire, and therefore I think you'll see the contraction of investment and contraction of U.S. oil production accelerated faster. So painful in the short term, but probably be brings us to a better place for the stronger companies. You know, I was amazed to read you guys were founded in 2011, and just so people are aware, you provide the services to the oil patch. Uh, like we always say, kind of like selling picks and shovels in the gold rush. <laughs> you know, it's a good good place to be until That's it slows, right. slows down a little bit. So you were founded in 2011. You've never had to do a layoffs or reduce your workforce, as I understand it. You have more cash than debt right now. I mean, your company, you've, I guess you've been through 2016, but how, you know, this is going to be quite a trying time. It will be. It will be. 2016 was quite a trying time. You know, we had $26 oil. We had in the regions where we operated, the rig, the rig count collapsed by two-thirds. Here, maybe we get a one-third. I mean, I think we'll get a meaningful pullback. I think it will be stressful times. Uh, and those are tough to go through, but they ultimately work to the advantage of the stronger players. And I think there's a number of strong players in our industry that'll, that'll be better for it. Yeah. But yes, this year will be a tough year for our industry. So how low for how long does oil price need to be before a company like yours has to really trim the workforce uh, considerably? Hard to say. You know, really, our activity is dictated by what our customers are going to do. I think it's a certainty that our customers, the oil and gas producers, are going to shrink rigs and they're going to lower their demand for frack services. So the whole pie is going to get smaller. Liberty will do what we always do, which is to try to grab a larger slice of that smaller pie. Um, and then the, 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 next, the other question is, how long does this last? Mm -hmm. And as you heard Dan Jurgen and others say, the pain at, you know, mid-30s oil, it's not just in our industry, it's, it's around the world. Yeah, but he so suggested, I don't think it's long-term sustainable. Maybe not ultra-long-term, we are running out of time, but he suggested it could be a year. I, I think very possible. It's probably not likely that oil prices stay this low for a year, but I think very tough conditions and contractionary environment lasting a year is very believable. And your company can get through that? Absolutely. All right. Chris, like I said, we thank you for coming on TV today. Kelly, thank you for having me on on a rough day. Not Take for the care. faint of heart. Uh, Chris Wright is the CEO and chairman of Liberty Oil Field Services, one of the many companies affected by the huge plunge in oil today. And that's only one of the things going on in this market.